everybody, and welcome back to our Andrew Kent's interview glimpse. It's been fun getting to know more about Andrew and his new book. I just want to be super. Mr. Kent, it's so special to get to connect with you, even though we're not in the classroom during these tough times. My name is Kate, and my question is about Nino's family. In any home or even in any classroom, too much energy can sometimes become a problem. Nino's papa, his mama, and even his sister Lisa are all very patient with Nino, except for his timeout under the tree after throwing the tomato. There isn't too much conflict in this family. Did you do this on purpose? Mr. Katz, were you trying to send a message to an adult who has to deal with kids like Nino, a kid whose energy must be considered a problem? Hi, Kate. Thanks for your great question. And this is a tough time, and it is really special for me as well to be able to talk to you guys like this in this interview. So thanks for thanks for having me and Nino here.、Um, So you're right that Nino's parents are very patient with him, and I base that on my sister and her husband, my nephew's parents, who found that the best way to work with my nephew was to be patient and understanding with him. Of course, it's frustrating when someone is running around and not listening to you if you're a parent or a teacher, and and. And it's tempting to just want to get angry at them or tell them in a bit of a sharp tone to sit down or to behave themselves or even to say, you know, what's wrong with you? Why can't you? Why can't you just sit still? And so it's understandable. You know, parents are people too. Teachers are people too, and and they can get frustrated like anybody. But、um, kids. Like Nino, who have tons of energy, and like my nephew, they are people as well, and and they want people, I think, to understand what it feels like to be them, to just want to be super, to have all this energy inside, and to be just looking for a way to express it and use it. And I think that、um, if parents and teachers Try to understand where kids are coming from. Kids will respond really well to that, and try to understand where parents and teachers are coming from, too. In this story, I really tried to make all the angles、um, that we see everything from to be Nino's point of view, so that we really feel what it's like to be him. And over the course of the story. Because everyone is is trying to understand his point of view, he I think is able later on to understand the point of view of someone else. And I won't spoil、uh, the, that part of the story if you haven't read it yet. But but you know if you treat people with kindness and with gentleness and with patience and with understanding, that is the best way to teach them how to be patient and kind. And understanding. So I think the patience that Nino's parents show to him, he eventually learns how to show to someone else in the story. Hey everybody, it's me, Kate. We hope you enjoy the second of five questions that we got to ask Mr. Andrew Katz. Look for the third question in tomorrow's video. There's joy. This has been a Glimpse Production. Thank you for watching.